In this video, we're going to take a look at something called Non-Volatile Memory Express, also known as NVMe. Now first of all, let's go back in time a few years. Computers all used to have a hard drive, which was used to store all of the data. This hard drive was connected to the motherboard of the PC using a SATA cable. That's what we call the interface, the type of cable or slot that is used to connect the drive to the motherboard. These old hard drives and computers also use the so-called AHCI standard. A standard is basically a specification that determines how the hard drive and the computer should communicate with each other. For example, one of the things that it determines is how many requests for data the computer can send to the hard drive at a time. Then SSDs entered the market. In case you don't know what an SSD is, it's a storage device and has no moving components inside it. Because of this, an SSD is much faster than a hard drive. Thanks to SSDs, computers became a lot faster. These SSDs were still connected to the computer's motherboard using SATA cables, and they also still used the AHCI standard. At some point, however, SSDs became faster than the SATA cables used to connect them to the rest of the computer. The maximum bandwidth of SATA is 600 megabytes per second, and the SSDs now exceeded that speed. This meant that even if your SSD could do 1200 megabytes per second, the max speed in the real world would be 600 megabytes per second because of that SATA interface. The SATA interface became a serious bottleneck. Then some smart people came up with an idea. They said, you know what, let's just make an SSD that fits in a PCI Express slot on the motherboard, just like a video card. Video cards also use PCI Express. That's because PCI Express has a very high bandwidth of multiple gigabytes per second. This would theoretically remove the bottleneck for the SSD. But because they changed the interface, a new standard was also required. That's because the old AHCI standard bottlenecks the SSD as well. And that's the reason NVMe was introduced. A new standard made specifically for PCI Express SSDs. But why is NVMe so much better for fast SSDs than the old AHCI standard? Earlier in this video, we talked about how the standard determines the amount of data requests a computer can send to a storage device at a time. This is exactly the reason why NVMe beats AHCI. The maximum queue depth of AHCI is one command queue at a time, which can contain up to 32 commands, which is not that much. The reason behind this is that hard drives aren't that fast and aren't that good at multitasking, and AHCI was intended to be used with hard drives. New PCI Express SSDs, however, are very fast and excellent at multitasking. That's why NVMe's maximum queue depth is 65,535 queues at a time, and each one of those queues can contain up to 65,536 commands. Thanks to this extreme parallelism, NVMe is a much better standard for these fast SSDs. There's also a new interface called M.2. This is a new interface, so it's actually a different physical slot on the motherboard. This new interface uses the PCI Express bus of the computer, and it also uses a new NVMe standard. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.